Hey, I'm Chris Ringham, intern, and in this tutorial, we'll discuss File Transfer Protocol, or FTP. FTP software is meant to facilitate the transfer of files between your local computer and a remote computer, like the server your site is being hosted on. In particular, it's useful for transferring large amounts of files because File Manager in cPanel is better suited to dealing with one file at a time. These files could be images, HTML, CSS, whichever the format is, FTP is a great way to get it onto your hosting account. In order to get started, you need two things, an FTP client and the credentials to an FTP account provided by cPanel. We can start by choosing and downloading our FTP client. CyberDuck and FileZilla are two of the most popular softwares, where CyberDuck is praised for having a visually appealing UI and the ability to edit files within the client using a third-party software. FileZilla is praised for being lightweight and having comprehensive software documentation. If you choose to pick one of these FTP clients and go with FileZilla, you can download it safely from this URL and be sure to hit the client download as opposed to the server download. If you go with CyberDuck, you'll be able to download it from this URL and choose your machine down here. Once you pick and download an FTP software, you can open up the application. On the left we have CyberDuck and on the right we have FileZilla. The interface may seem intimidating upon first glance, but it isn't too bad once you get to know it. For FileZilla, you can see the connection status up here, local files here, the remote files here, and then there's a file queue down here. In order to connect, you need to enter the correct credentials up in this bar at the top, or in the case of CyberDuck, in this field over here. This connection field will allow you to connect to your site and its files once we fill it with your FTP account information. So let's head over to cPanel to see our FTP accounts. You can see your accounts by hitting FTP accounts under files and scrolling to the bottom. Every Reclaim user has a default FTP account created for them when they sign up. If you wish to create another FTP account, you can do so up here in this field. You can see FTP accounts that you've created down here in this field, and having multiple FTP accounts like this may be useful if you want to dish out FTP access to different people or editors who need to be uploading content to your site. Back to the default account, the perk of using this default account versus the one you may have created yourself is that it has SFTP capabilities. SSH FTP, also referred to as Secure FTP, works the same as regular FTP on your end, but there is a boost in security as the files are encrypted over SSH during transfer, using public and private keys. This security boost is why we always recommend using this account for FTP. You can see an account's username here, and the password will be whatever you assigned an account that you created by yourself. Or, for your default account, the password will be your cPanel password. You can access your cPanel password by referencing the welcome email you received after signing up with Reclaim. It should look like this. If you don't have access to this email, you must change your cPanel password within your client area by going to My Accounts, View Details, and then Change Password. Now that we have our credentials, we can connect to our site and start transferring files. So the first field we need to address is the host. This will simply be the name of the site you're trying to connect to. The username will be the username for your FTP account. And the password is your cPanel password. If you're connecting with your default account and want to use SFTP, you want to use port 22. Otherwise, use port 21 for a regular FTP connection. From there, you can hit Quick Connect and you'll see the remote files propagate over here. So these are the files for cringham.org. To access my main site, I can go to the public HTML. Understanding this file structure surrounding your domain is beyond the scope of this tutorial, but will be covered within a later video. For now, we can still cover basic uploading. For sake of example, we can try to upload a picture. You can see it popped up here. You can connect the same way using CyberDuck. Host and FileZilla correlates to server here. We're using SFTP, meaning we should use 422 as well. And we can see the remote files here. If we wanted to upload a file, we could go down into a folder 
go to action and hit upload and then choose a file or multiple files. For both of these clients we can also drag and drop files from the desktop into the remote folders. In order to disconnect in CyberDuck you can hit this button or in FileZilla we can hit this button at the top here. As a side note, it may seem tedious to re-enter all of this information each time you want to connect to your site. So in each client there are ways to save some of the connection credentials. So if you'd like to, for FileZilla you can open the site manager and save some of these credentials so that the connection is um, quicker next time you log on. From there you can always return to the site manager and connect to a site that you've already added. In CyberDuck, you can create a bookmark for remote computers that you've connected to. And once you put in the information, it will show up under um, this bookmarks tab here. You can quickly connect. This concludes the first part of connecting through FTP. For advice on troubleshooting your connection, check out part two. And as always, if you have any trouble, you can submit a support ticket to the staff at Reclaim Hosting within your client area or directly to this email. 